So right now we're working on getting ready for our big Christmas celebration. What we're doing is trying to get people to throw their phones away, come out to the farm, and just be with people. Just celebrating that feeling you get when you have your loved ones around. We'll have campfires, we have a skating rink coming, 50-foot tree, the whole light show is all animated to music, so we have different songs will be playing, the lights will dance to the music. People could come out with their kids, maybe they could watch a movie on the big screen or, or ride the go-karts or do a roller coaster ride. And we're all about tradition here and we actually have nativity scenes about Jesus, we're, what Christmas is all about. We celebrate that and we want to invite everybody to come out and enjoy it. It'll be spectacular. Well, I've grown up here and I was just a little guy and where the lights are going on was a pasture and my dad raised sheep. And I remember being five, six years old, chasing him while he was doing the irrigation. And we've taken those fields and we've just made an agritainment venue there where we can attract people to come out and enjoy what I got to have as a privilege as a kid. Not everybody gets to do that with their dad. Just giving everybody the opportunity to see farm life, being able to share it is, is means the world to me. There's over 50,000 lights here just in the orchard at Haas Farms. We're really hoping families and especially kids as they come through that they're just wowed and there's things that they recognize. Farm animals out here. We have a donkey, a cow, sheep, chickens. We're trying to give them that Christmas wonder but also give them that farm experience. We started in 2005 was the first year we did what they call agritainment. So we don't fit really in the commercial box or the ag box, we're kind of a blend. So we've been having a hard time navigating that with the local county. As we're growing, the county wanted us to do a rezone. I personally don't want to do a rezone. I want to keep it as a PD, a plan development. Just expand the plan development. I don't want to see a Walmart or Macy's or any of that kind of stuff here. I want it to be a farm. And when you come out here at night and see all the light rides lit up and you know, dad's drinking a beer, mom's drinking a glass of wine and kids are running around, it's, it's just a nice, nice feeling. We have one of the most beautiful farms in the world, in my opinion, where the Sacramento River and Cow Creek intersect. There's only one or two percent of us that still are in agriculture, so it's a way that we can keep our community involved, what it takes to feed everybody. Any piece of beef you put in your mouth, we grow it for 20,000 people in this community. The other reason I'm doing agritainment is the traditional farming is hard to stay in business. We're doing other things we have to do to stay in business, and we want to keep it free enterprise for the community to grow crops. About 15 years ago, I came out here and worked on building some things for the pumpkin patch. I have extra time now since I'm retired, so I wanted to give back. I think Greg is doing a very good job on trying to promote family activities. We tried to price it real low this year. I think it's $13.99 for kids, 50 or 16 bucks for adults. We just want to invite you guys all out. I think you'll be impressed. It's going to be awesome. I just look forward to seeing everybody out here. It's going to be magical.